two fist distance is hip distance, but step a little wider than that. Taking a few moments to maybe roll the shoulders up and back and forward and down. And then taking your hands, your, your four fingers to your hip hinge, your hip joint here, send your butt back really far until you start to feel some length and some stretch through your hamstrings. Have a flat back here. And then once your hips start to fold over your fingers, go ahead and release your hands down to the mat. Bend as generously as you need in your low back and in your legs to feel really supported here and to not feel like your legs are, are shaking and straining while they're locked out. So that's the, that's the secret to getting closer to the floor if you don't have props is to bend into your knees. And then once you fold it all the way down, allow the top of your head to point toward the mat, releasing the entire backside of your body. Taking a scan of your body here from the tailbone to the top of the head and back down all the way to the heels. And I'm facing this direction here because I'm going to show you how to take your peace fingers. So your pointer finger and your middle finger, hook those onto your big toes, hook them onto your big toes. Your elbows are going to go out to the side as you pull your chest down a little bit closer here. So opening your elbows out to the side, pull your chest down a little closer to your thighs. Again, bending into your knees, rounding the back. Make sure that you can breathe here. Two more full breaths. And then release your fingers down to the mat and start to make your way all the way up, standing nice and tall, really slow. Crawl your way all the way up here. Inhale, reach your arms fully up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Take a really deep breath here with the eyes closed. Fully exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale fully. And then taking your time, coming on to your back. So if you have a prop, uh, a blanket, or a towel that you can roll up, and lie over for your low back. Go ahead and grab that now. I'm gonna take my blanket here and I'm gonna roll it. So a little tight roll here. This blanket is gonna go about halfway down my mat, horizontal or long ways. I'm gonna sit my hips against it and roll back over the blanket. So it's a little subtle lift in the low back here. It's not so high that it's, you know, lifting my butt off of the mat or excessively arching my back. It's just enough to, to close that gap between the mat and my low back and allow a slight extension through my spine. Your feet are on the mat, so you can bend your knees, soles of the feet on the mat, and then walk your feet open one distance and close your knees together. So you're kind of in a knock knee position here. So supporting the low back, creating space in the sacrum, opening up the arms, cactus style, or maybe opening them out to a T, allowing the chest and the shoulders to roll open as the back is supported here. So if you ever have the need for some relief, but you don't want to move, try this posture. So take a blanket or e even a pillow. Find somewhere that you can lay down with your arms outstretched or back in a cactus here. Tuck that pillow in the small of your back. And then just notice with each exhale how you're able to melt a little deeper onto your prop. Two more breaths here. And 
And then as you exhale, you can bring your hands back down. Open up your knees so your feet are hip distance. Press into your feet and lift your hips to a bridge to slide that pillow, that blanket out from underneath your low back. And then slowly lower your back all the way down. Interlace your fingers outside of your right knee. Pull that knee in toward your chest and send your left leg out. So we can have a slight bend in the left knee, that's fine. Straightening out that left leg as much as is comfortable for you as you're pulling your right knee in toward your chest. And then start to walk the left heel back in, bringing the left knee in toward your chest. Switch hands. So your interlaced fingers are on top of your left knee. Right leg extends. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Relaxing your face or any gripping that you have. Start to bring the right knee back in, switching once again. Left leg goes long. And then one more time, left leg comes in, right leg outstretched. Hugging both knees in toward your chest, maybe rolling up, bringing your forehead to your knees here. Your forehead does not have to touch, but curl up, bringing the forehead up. Lower all the way down, lower your feet down as well. Pressing into the soles of your feet, take a bridge, lifting up, hips rise. Exhale, lower all the way down. Hugging both knees in toward your chest. Pick up your feet slowly. Option to curl up, bringing your forehead toward your knees. We're going to do this one more time. So as you exhale, feet come down to the mat. Press into the soles of the feet. Lift the hips, bridge pose. Exhale the full length of your lowering down. Bend the knees, bring them in toward your chest. Option to curl the head up. Maybe noticing how it gets a little closer to the knees here. Lowering all the way back down. Roll over onto your right side. Make your way up into a comfortable seat here. <sighs> We're going to do a twist. So move your props out of the way. Left knee will be bent. And your right leg is going to cross somewhere over it. So over it depends on what works best for you. You can cross that right leg completely over the left, or you can have it somewhere outside the front here, whatever works best for you. So the left knee is down, right knee is bent. Take your left hand outside of your right knee, maybe bending through the elbow, taking the right hand into the small of your back or onto the mat here, and then twisting over to the right. Twisting to the right here. So as you're twisting here, press your left hand into your left or right knee here, and then press the right knee back into your hand. So you create a little stability through the hips. One more breath here. Coming back through center, switching legs. So the right knee will be bent. Left leg can either cross over with the foot flat or somewhere in front of this bent right knee. Right arm outside left knee. You can bend it again if you'd like. Take your left hand to the mat here. Take a twist, sitting up nice and tall. So trying not to rely too heavily on the left hand that's on the mat so you're not dumping weight into that wrist. Find the length through your spine. Take that twist through your spine here. Pressing your arm into your leg, your leg into your arm. One more breath. And then coming back through center. Extend both legs out. We're gonna move forward and back. So heels down, toes up. Walk your hands out front, maybe bending through the elbows. 
and then walking your hands back up, hands behind you, chest opens. Exhale, walking forward. And then as you inhale, walk the hands back, hands go behind you, chest opens. Walking forward. And pressing back, hands behind you. We'll go one more time. Exhale, come forward. Sitting up, walking all the way back, hands behind you. Lift your chin, open your chest. And coming back through center, use your hands to help close your legs in here. Finding your comfortable seat. <sighs> Our time together is so sweet, but so short. So sweet, but so short. Thank you all for making time. Take your time getting back to your day. There's no rush to spring 